Hisako! Come on, 
Supreme victory!
how this ends, right? Watch out. You might get cut. Ready. Fight! Should have tried. Supreme victory. Jago arrives at the temple, this place that holds so many powerful memories. Here, he learned to train his body and his mind. But Jago has been put on a crooked path, for the tiger spirit was an illusion, a tool of Gargos. He sees his shadow self. Is this a dream or a reality? It makes no difference. He must fight the manifestation either way. Oh, 
I'm afraid your path ends here. Supreme victory! Fight on! I've got a friggin' dragon! You can see how this ends, right? Think you got what it takes to beat the champ? 
Come on! You should have tried. Three. 
I'm afraid your path ends here. Your path ends here.
Fight on! I've got a friggin' dragon. You can see how this ends, right? Yin di ton rap sueb kong chan. Triple. Ah! 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 Ah!
on. Your path ends here. Supreme victory!
should have tried. Supreme victory! Perfect. Sadira!
up, real Gurn Pine. Supreme victory! Yeah. Oh, take some stuff. 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 Take some stuff.
real Gurn Pine. Supreme victory! For the Herald of Gargus. Ready.
Supreme victory!
After 10 years in Special Forces, Ben Ferris decided it was time for a raise. So he went where the money is, corporate espionage. The only thing bigger than his ego was his talent. And before long, he landed a contract on the world's most powerful company. That's when Ben finally met his better. Arya destroyed Ben's frail body, but even she could see that his skills were valuable. Ben was submitted to an experimental program called Project Cinder. Using alien DNA, Ben's genetic code was altered permanently, turning him into a being of pure, uncontrollable plasma energy. Arya constructed a suit that allows Ben to control his power and unleash it at will. Ultratech has improved on perfection, making Ben better in every way, and working for Arya allows him to show off his skills to the whole world. Target spotted. What's the time estimate? This should be quick. Ready. Fight. <laughs>
Now you have to move. Two. 
supreme victory! During the Cinder experiments, Ben's DNA was combined with alien DNA stolen from Glacius. And from the painful procedures that followed, a superior creation arose. But Glacius doesn't see Cinder as a superior. Glacius is furious with Arya for exploiting his DNA and creating Cinder, a bastardization of the alien's race. Cinder is left with no option. If Glacius will not see that Cinder is superior, a demonstration is required. Yinditon Rapsueb Kong Chan. Ready! Fight! Walk out!
supreme victory! Cinder has proven himself Arya's strongest lieutenant, and Arya entrusts him with command of Ultratech's clandestine operations. Cinder will be at Arya's side as the world falls under Ultratech's protection. But standing over his old ally, Cinder realizes that someday, Arya might deem him obsolete as well. The thought amuses him. Arya may be powerful, but she cannot stop the sun from rising. Once a trusted advisor to the King of Babylon, Khan Ra was cast out and cursed for betraying his king. He plundered the Empire's vaults of arcane knowledge, seeking the secrets of the universe, and unlocked powers thought lost to humanity, control over elements, gateways to other worlds, and eventually, immortality. Aganos, the war golem, had hunted him for centuries, tracking Khan Ra to his remote jungle refuge. The two battled to a standstill. Too weak to fight on, Khan Ra is defenseless when the Night Guard attacks. Unable to destroy the sorcerer, the Night Guard burned Khan Ra alive and locked away the ashes where he lay dormant. Until now. During Ultratech's attack on the Night Guard, Khan Ra is released. Aeons of dormancy have left his powers depleted, but he escapes amidst the chaos. You'll make a fine specimen.
You will no longer need this. <laughs> Supreme victory.
<laughs> Supreme victory! Ready!
You will no longer need this. <laughs> Supreme victory. Wako Ipnalia Tomoe.
no longer need this. <laughs> Supreme victory! The hunter, Maya, waylays the sorcerer, throwing him into his own portal. But one who has mastered immortality is not so easily vanquished. Inside the portal, on the outer reaches of the universe, awaits a mighty force. Their scouts have already infiltrated Earth, supplanting those who might pose a threat to this army. And their arrival is an omen of the coming invasion. If he can bend this army to his will, he will control the most powerful force in the universe. But his loss to Maya has drained his power, and he is too weak to sustain the portal. Reopening it to unleash the army will require a massive energy source. And Kanra happens to know just where to find him. Agonos' energy source comes from an ancient spell that granted he and his brothers endless life. But the golem is not indestructible. Using Agonos' siphoned power, Kanra opens the portal and awaits his army. But instead, a lone being exits, a creature so old it makes Kanra's immortal life seem like a grain of sand in an hourglass. And for the first time in thousands of years, the sorcerer feels fear. He has brought about the age of a new god, and mankind has no place in it. Arya knows that humanity's future is grim. There are battles on the horizon that have never before been fought, and foes against whom humanity has not been tested. 
Fighting these battles is the purpose for which Ultratech was created, and Project Stalker is Arya's pursuit of creating the perfect hunter. Constructed using Ultratech gene splicing, the Stalkers have the instincts and brutality of a raptor, the obedience of a human soldier, and synthetic Ultratech genes. When they were hatched, Arya pitted them against the Fulgors. The Stalkers were outnumbered, but they hunted their prey as a pack, dissecting the Fulgors one by one. Arya named the leader of the pack, the most ruthless Stalker, Riptor. You ready?
Target spotted. <laughs> this should be quick. When TJ Combo and Orchid destroyed a stalker hatchery, many of the subjects escaped. Most have formed packs in the wild, but a lone stalker has resurfaced. She is from the very first batch, a mindless, brutally violent bunch that would just as soon eat each other than an enemy. Because of their unpredictable nature, Arya would not trust them in combat. This stalker will need to be contained quickly Aria doesn't want Ultratech technology falling into unknown hands. But Riptor intends to savor her meal. Supreme! 